I'd like to thank the organizers for the opportunity to present our work at this meeting. My name is Yixing. I'm a faculty from the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. Today, I'm going to talk about IsoCERC, a new method we developed for sequencing full-length circular RNA isoforms using nanopore technology. Before I start, I'd like to thank lab members who contributed to this work. Uh, Dr. Ri Jiaoxin and Dr. Yan Gao led the experimental and the computational aspects of this project. Several other lab members listed here also contributed to this work. So we know that human genes can generate distinct RNA isoforms through alternative splicing of the precursor messenger RNA. And the splicing usually occurs in a linear fashion from the five prime to three prime end of the transcript. But in some cases, splicing could occur in a nonlinear fashion through this uh, process called spike splicing, in which a downstream five prime splice site is ligated back to an upstream three prime splice site. And this would generate a unique uh, type of RNA species called circular RNAs. In the last decade, short read Illumina RNA sequencing has been the primary approach for the discovery of circular RNAs. So the general strategy is that we start with the total RNA pool. We deplete ribosomal RNAs and also linear RNAs. And the remaining circular RNA enriched pool is then subject to Illumina paradigm sequencing. And we can map those paradigm reads back to the genome and back to the transcriptome to identify and quantify uh, circular RNA backspice junctions that represent those circular RNA species. And from many studies uh, conducted in the last few years, it's, it is now known that circular RNAs are abundant in mammalian transcriptomes, and they play roles in multiple biological processes, such as regulation of transcription, translation into protein products, and also regulation of microRNA or protein binding to RNA targets. And if you think about those different biological functions of circular RNAs, it will become apparent that to study the functions of circular RNAs, we actually need to know their full length sequences. So for example, to study the protein products translated from circular RNAs, we need to know the full length RNA sequence. Similarly, to study circular RNAs that act as molecular sponges for microRNAs or RNA binding proteins, we not only need to know the circular RNA backspice junction sequences, but we also need to know the sequence inside the circular RNA in the linear part. However, traditional short read sequencing based approach cannot determine the full length circular RNA sequences. And because of this, in the last few years, various computational methods have been developed to reconstruct full length circular RNA sequences using short read data. And in this paper published last year, the authors conducted a comprehensive evaluation of the state of the art methods for reconstructing full length circular RNAs. So the take home message from this study is that even using long pair dent Illumina sequencing, circular RNAs below 500 base pair could be reconstructed, but above 500 base pair, it is difficult to recover their complete sequences. And to address this critical gap in the community, we uh, this was the limitation, uh, the motivation for us to develop IsoCERC, a new nanopore-based method for sequencing full-length circular RNA isoforms. So this diagram shows the general workflow of IsoCERC. Um, so we start from the total RNA, we deplete ribosomal RNAs and also linear RNA transcripts. Then we use a random primer to initiate RT reaction against the circular RNA template. The RT product is then ligated into a circular DNA you know, product, which is then amplified using rolling circle amplification. And the RCA product is, is then subject to nanopore sequencing using the standard 1D protocol. Um, so the resulting RCA reads uh, represent multiple concatenomeric copies of a given circular RNA template. So using those reads, we can identify consensus sequences. We can map the consensus sequences back to the genome and use various uh, stringent criteria to identify high confidence backspace junctions and also full length circular RNA isoforms. As an initial proof of concept, we applied isocirc to multiple biological replicates of HEC-293 cells. And in this picture, I'm showing you what the isocirc data look like. So in this case, I'm showing you one isocirc read mapped to a circular RNA from this gene called KDM1A. So this circular RNA contains three axons. 
And the inner circle of this diagram shows the axon intron structure and also the position of the backspace junction, while the outer circle shows the isocircle read aligned to this circular RNA sequence. And from this diagram, you can see that this particular read actually contains more than 10 copies of the circular RNA template. And this picture shows the top four most abundant circular RNAs identified from uh, for this gene uh, in the HEC293 cells. And if you compare different isoforms, you can see that some of the circular RNA isoforms use distinct backspace junctions, while the first and the third isoform from the left has the same backspace junction, but they have an alternative spicing event involving the alternative inclusion and escaping of exon 2 inside the circular RNA. And we have done comprehensive evaluation on this data set to assess the reproducibility of isocirc for detecting and also quantifying circular RNAs. Next, we applied isocirc to a broad panel of 12 different human tissues. And within each human tissue, you can see that isocirc identified tens of thousands of circular RNA isoforms. And some of the tissues, such as testes and brain, have a large number of circular RNA isoforms detected. And this is actually consistent with prior knowledge about circular RNA isoform complexity uh, based on shell resequencing. And if we aggregate all the isoform detected on the 12 tissues and the HEC293 cells, we identified over 100,000 circular RNA isoforms. Among them, 40,000 are larger than 500 nucleotide, and almost 9,000 isoforms are longer than 1,000 nucleotide in length. And those are the kind and of circular RNA isoforms that you cannot detect or reconstruct using shell ray based methods. We can also use the isocirc data to study the alternative spicing events within circular RNAs. And if we focus on the alternative spicing event in the internal part, the linear part of circular RNA isoforms, we identified over 5,000 alternative spicing events from our data set corresponding to all major types of alternative spicing patterns. In particular, compared to previous short read based reconstruction study, we identified a disproportionately high number of retained intron events from the isocirc data. So we thought this is interesting because circular RNAs containing retained introns or exon intron circular RNAs have been studied before. And in this paper from 2015, the author demonstrated that those exon intron circular RNAs interact with the US NERP and also PAL2 on the chromatin to regulate the transcription of the parental genes in cysts. However, in those previous studies, it was very difficult to comprehensively identify exon intron circular RNAs using shell read based approach because of the very large size of human introns. And using isocirc, we identified over 700 intron exon, so exon intron circular RNAs. So this uh, slide shows you one example of one such circular RNA is identified in this gene. You can see that the, the, most, the, the top two abundant circular RNA isoforms have, have an intron retention event between them. And if you look at the isocirc data across the 12 different tissues, you can see that in some tissues such as brain, uh, the predominant uh, circular RNA isoform contains the retained intron, while in some other tissues like blood, the intron is predominantly spliced out, indicating that the intron retention could undergo tissue specific regulation. And we can also similarly use isocirc data to identify uh, other types of alternative spicing events. So in this particular case, we're looking at a gene called QKI, which has uh, a circular RNA that spans three axons. And if you look at axon two, you can see that this axon two is included in some of the circular RNA product, but also skipped from some other circular RNA product, again, with some levels of tissue specificity. So I'd like to wrap up and summarize my talk here. I talked about the limitation of short read RNA sequencing for circular RNA analysis. I introduced isocirc, which is a novel strategy for sequencing full length circular RNAs, combining rolling circle amplification followed by long read nanopore sequencing. Um, 
So using the ISO circ, we uh, identified over 100,000 full-length circulant isoforms across the human transcriptome, including over 40,000 isoforms that are longer than 500 nucleotide in length. And finally, using ISO circ, we identified widespread alternative spacing events within the internal part of circular RNAs, including 720 retained intron events corresponding to exon intron circular RNAs. Um, so I'd like to uh, end my talk here. I thank you for your attention. I'll be happy to take questions during the, the Q&A session.